We're here in La Bresse, round three of the Cross Country Mountain Bike World Cup, uh, talking to Emily Batty from Trek Factory Racing, who has just finished third in the Elite Women's Cross Country. Uh, Emily, first World Cup podium of the year. You must be feeling pretty good about that. Yeah, it's about time, actually. I was getting a little impatient, but I think uh, patience is a virtue, and I knew the fitness was there. And um, you know, I chose the hardtail on this track, which is kind of a bit of a shocker. I think I was leaning towards the full suspension more all week, um, but it was riding so fast in there and everything was just clicking and I, I just really had a good time. And, um, you know, Adam and I, we fine-tuned some things from last week because I wasn't going as good as I was hoping for last week. Um, but just a little bit of tweaking and the two of us uh, pulled it off here. And it was such a dramatic race because I was actually like, sitting like 20 seconds off the lead the whole way it seemed um and then Yolanda had a mechanical and then we were together like with two laps to go and then Pendle Bridge it was just like this awesome dramatic race um it, for the top three uh, but uh I mean I was the one to get my first win but I'll take third for today now I mean you had a very good start because you were even on the first lap when I saw you you were you, you were up among the leaders yeah, I think the, the, the first um, nine minutes of the course was so important, and I did get through, thankfully. Um, so I was able to really just focus on, uh, you know, riding as hard as I could for those first minutes. And um, and then the descent, um, we were all single file, and, uh, you know, I had a clean race, just one small mistake, um, <clears throat> but pretty innocent. And, uh, yeah, just all in all, it, was, it came together, finally. Yeah, there were a lot of crashes because there was that rain last night, so I guess it was still pretty muddy out there. Yeah, but I'm Canadian, so I don't mind the mud at all. Um, you know, we did a na Canadian national camp in Victoria in the uh, in the spring, so getting you know some opportunity to ride in the mud and the slop and um, re really just like learn your own limits and the bike's limits in the mud. Um, so it didn't it didn't hold me back today. In fact, I think it worked in my advantage. So you're now back up to fourth in the World Cup standings, um, and this is the last major event before the World Championship, so it must give you some confidence as you sort of prepare to go to the Worlds. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, I don't train for top tens. I train for podiums, and I'm training for a win one day. So, um, you know, last week was a total fluke with a 12th place, and um, I'm just really happy to be back in form and, um, like I said, just bringing it all together and um, and just building that confidence because I know it's there. It's just a matter of letting it letting it out every now and again to remind, you, remind yourself um, that all the hard work does pay off. Well, again, congratulations. Thank you.